up everybody making this video right now because something just got on my heart to make this video for who knows maybe this video can help somebody you know because I was one of those teenagers that grew up in life you know without a complete household I know I'm not the only one feeling like this, so like I said, maybe this video can help somebody. Um, I have my own therapy when it comes with dealing with things of certain matter. Like, that nigga just ran the red light. I want to run the red light too. But anyway, like, I mean, I have car issues, and, and for a guy to grow up, you feel like, you know, your dad uh, should be the one to guide you when you have car issues, or, or you have issues around the house, you know, you probably call on your father or somebody, you know. But... The older you get, the more things you have, and you know things don't last forever. Things break. You know things need repair. And for those who are younger than me, you know I'm an '84 baby, so uh, those who are growing up without fathers and stuff like that. You run across obstacles where you feel like maybe if you would have had a father, you wouldn't have those problems you were having. You know. But I want to make this video because I've been going without a father for a long time. And certain people I learn from. You know, certain male role models I learned from, I, you know, like I'm having a car issue now, and I have a black mechanic I call up, you know. Thanks. Yeah, I got a black mecha uh, mechanic I call up. And I don't know this man personally, but he have good knowledge on cars. And I can look at him as like a father figure or whatever. I give him money for his advice, you know. Even if you go to a shop, they gon' you gotta pay for them to look at your car and diagnose it. So I pay for his time, whatever, and for him to give me advice. And that's what I've been doing, you know, just I just feel, you know, you have no father. Just get money, you know what I mean? That's the conclusion. Just get money, cause things are gonna happen, and money can fix a lot of issues. You know what I mean? Even though money causes having a lot of money causes issues, but it also can fix issues. Can just told me it's a leaking exhaust, and I probably.
probably need a new muffler. So I'm about to park the car. Uh, I'm trying to buy a muffler. But everywhere I go to, they tell me I gotta special order it. So um, I'm gonna check out this one more spot. But on the way to driving to check out this muffler spot, I just some came on me to make this video. There's a lot of little young brothers out there. I know don't don't have a father. You know, it's a lot of fathers in prisons and jails and stuff. You know, I'm one of them. I seen it with my own eyes. I escaped it. And I'm not looking back. So to the little jits out here on the streets. You know, anybody black that's doing good, you gotta judge people off their actions. You know what I mean? Don't judge people off what they say because people will say one thing and do the next. You know, so to my little young jits, judge people off their action. You know what I mean? And uh, it's help out there. You just gotta seek it. You know, uh, all that's in the Bible, seeking you find. So just don't give up. It, 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 get, it, it can get hard, but you know, it's help out there. You just have to seek for it. Don't look for it in one place either. Don't look for happiness in one place. Don't let your happiness, don't, don't let that void, you know, take away from your happiness. Uh, if you got an absent parent, you know, don't let that void take away from your happiness. You know what I'm saying? There's other ways to feel that void. I found it, you know, it, this shit don't bother me. I'm still out here doing what I got a motherfucking do. You know what I'm saying? I know I look good for my age. People tell me I, I'm like in my 20s, nigga. I'm in my 30s, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no gray hair. I ain't worried about what the hell a lot of people out here worried about, you know? I'm still out here doing my thing, man. So, hey, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's your boy, Tattoos by Brandon. Damn. Signing out.